Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking an updated look at the most recent Manjaro Cute Fish development build. The last build we happened to take a look at, I believe, was 0 0.2. And today we're going to be looking at 0 0.4. And it's on the 5.13.12-1 kernel. So let's go ahead and minimize that. We're going to run over to GitHub real quick and take a peek. Manjaro Cute Fish. You can download it here if you would like. Let's see what kind of issues we might be having. 15 are open, 6 are closed, can't take screenshot, where's the source code, there are no options for keyboard after installation, LibreOffice not pinned to the dock, LibreOffice not pinned to the dock. Let's look at that real quick. Let's go over here. I don't think they have LibreOffice on this nightly build. They don't, so I'm going to go ahead and escape out of that. But... You've got cute fish. You've got the welcome screen. Let's go ahead and right click. Can we change the background? Let's make it something a little darker. Let's go with something like that. Let's close. But it seems like they're coming quite a ways with it. We're getting a lot of good looking transparency up here on the top bar. The dock down here as well. Let's go ahead and close out of the hello. And let's just take a quick peek around here. Let's open up the file manager. That looks good. Looks like they're coming a long way with this distribution. Let's see if we can set it to a dark mode. Display, appearance. Let's go ahead and switch that over to a dark mode. Dim the wallpaper in the theme. Okay, so the wallpaper's still dimming. Let's go ahead and close that back. Display, fonts. Background we just looked at, dock. So we can move it to the left. Move it to the right. I think I'll leave it on the right. I've always liked the dock being on the right. Seeing how monitors are more wider than they are tall. And then you've got your user settings, mouse, date and time, power. Let's see now what the file manager looks like in a dark mode. Looks like they've changed the file manager up just a hair. Okay, not too much though. And you do have the global menu up top for the file manager. Now, does that work with Firefox? Because before we had an issue that it wasn't working for Firefox, and it still doesn't seem to be working for Firefox. So I'll minimize that back down. But it should work for most everything else. Settings, user, let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's go over to the launcher. Let's go to console and see if they've got HTOP installed. They don't. Let's try top. They do have top. Right now I have this... Virtual machine issued three gigabytes of RAM and at rest with the terminal open you're sitting at about a gigabyte of RAM being used So that's not real bad. I mean, it's not as light as some of the KDE's and definitely not as light as some of the XFCE's I've looked at but you do have the global menu up here for terminal and you're still running about 1.6 gigs lighter than let's say like a Windows So it's not that heavy that's not too bad at all. So let's go ahead and close out of that. So it looks like it's coming along. So they do have the desktop, the Calamari's installer. But it looks at this time that Calamari's doesn't... Oh, why did it open up in Kate? Let me close that again. Let me double click. Okay, the Calamari's installer isn't working. Let's right click. Let's just open... That doesn't make any sense. You click on the Calamari's installer and the Kate text editor pops up. So it's still got some bugs in it, guys. But it's getting closer by the day. Getting very close. I would say probably within the next 60 to 90 days we should have a beta. At least that's what I'm hoping. Because I think this is one of the most anticipated Manjaro releases that there has been in a while. Pulse audio control, install, and let's see if it'll pull up Calamari's from there. Okay, well the desktop Calamari's doesn't work, but the one in the application menu works. So, and that's a preview build, location, keyboard, there are no partitions, so yes, because I'm in a virtual box, I kind of figured that. So let's go ahead and close that. So the Calamari's installer does work, but you have to go through the application menu. Manjaro Settings Manager, let's look at that. 
locale settings, language packages. Let's see what kernel options they give you. 5.13.12-1 is running and installed, but no other options. So let's go back to all settings. And then hardware configuration, will you be able to do your NVIDIA through there? I guess that's, okay. If you weren't in a virtual machine and you boot up, this is where you would install your video drivers. So we're on virtual machine, so that's not going to show. So let's close out of that. So it looks like they're coming right along with it. Let's go with a background like that. Let's close. Let's check out add and remove software. So we got the add and remove software. Let's see if, can we search for anything? Show installed, repositories. Let's go over here and go to preferences. Let's go third party and let's turn AUR on. General, let's go ahead and close out of that. And then you come down to AUR looks like it's refreshing but I'm haven't refreshed the mirror so I don't know how accurate this is actually going to be Caden live okay so it's bringing up the arch user repository there's Caden live so they're getting close on that and when I refresh the mirrors we'd be able to look at the local repositories as well so they're coming a long way guys um that's just a quick look an update on the development of Manjaro Cutefish I think they've come a long way since 0.2. It seems a lot smoother. Everything's just a lot more snappier. So hopefully within the next 60 to 90 days, we'll actually have a beta that we can put on a machine and try to daily drive. Manjaro Cutefish, are you looking forward to trying out the beta? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the videos and you like what the channel's doing, you can buy us a cup of coffee. Or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next video.